guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 10 of season 2 of Princess Connect. You're probably wondering why the fuck this is coming out later on Wednesday. Well, okay, so Monday happened. I came home from work. I literally fell asleep, was super tired, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it on Tuesday after work. <sighs> Got some bad news about my dad, so... I literally was up majority of the night falling, going between falling back to sleep and talking to him and making sure that he was okay um, and such. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it in the morning when I woke up. I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning, got up, um, was supposed to go do something else. We didn't get that done because I ended up falling asleep again. And now it's already 2.30 in the afternoon and I have these two shows to do, plus Patreon and stuff. And I'm like, shit. I should have woken up <laughs> but yes I did not mean for this to come out today and also trying to do this today because I wanted to do this last night so that it could come out this morning or afternoon but no <laughs> so other than that let's go to get started with episode 10 and three two one go uh oh I froze uh, oh well okay Hold on, let me, let me pause it. Let me go back. All right, take two. <laughs> and three, two, one, go. There we go. Better, better. The hell is that sound? Oh. Carol? Hey, time out, time out, time out. She died last week. She died last week. So now, okay. Oh, uh. Hello? Um, one minute into the episode and already confused what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I can't even imagine if I watched this on Monday. Probably would have been like, um, that happened. That really happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm still pissed about last week because I was so ready to have... Pecorine finally tell Carol about the truth, even though, you know, situation stuff. And then, no, Carol gets switched and what's her face is dies. And I'm over here crying my ass off after I was done watching the episode because I was like, yeah, that really happened last week. You know, it's also funny. Okay, so since I'm now officially playing this game, as I said last week, again, I am stuck on one level that I can't get past. I have like only 800 gems because I spent all my gems mostly. Because um, I'm trying to save for um, one of the summer gotchas. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but what if she doesn't come back, though? Hmm? Carol. No, it's not.
Hmm. So what do you do? Damn, that's making everybody just stop in their tracks. So, okay, so by being free, you want to put a wall around them? That's a little messed up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Well, no, well, you know what, let's just say this. She's not being under anyone's control or anything. She's just actually doing it. And, but yeah, y'all gotta go. But the thing is, what are you gonna say to her? I mean, seriously, there's so many things that could happen. Oh, God. I know, right? I'm like, shit. Hey, they're leaving. Oh!
Mm-hmm. Damn, is everybody gonna find out by the end of the episode? <laughs> See, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if literally every character by the end of this season finds out about the fact that, you know, Pegarine is the actual true princess, which would make <laughs> which would make the most sense. <laughs> Uh-oh. What the hell just happened? Mm, she even has a wall between them. See, if you would have told me at the beginning of season one that these two would have fought each other, like, oh, but when she's going straight for her, you know Carol's going to block that, right? You don't want to do this, though. I want to cry so bad. This just hurts. Everything about this episode just fucking hurts. Of course, literally probably every exit is closed off. If there was somewhere like underground everyone could stay, would be fine, but no. Probably not. (laughs) 
Yuki? Mm. Oh shit. Damn, no remorse or anything, Carol. Here you go. Slap, snap, <laughs> slapper. You have nothing to say about that? Oh, well, duh. Shit, <laughs> mm. I would have just ran the fuck home. I am not dying tonight. Mm mm.
There you go. Just stop. It took too fucking long, but finally, oh my god. Okay, this, this episode in a nutshell, okay. If last week was an emotional roller coaster with the way it was and the way it, how it ended, this was the emotional roller coaster part two. And we about to go into part three, part four, maybe even part five with the last few weeks that we have with this show. Um, seeing just that little, little teeny tiny bit of these two fighting really broke my heart because you you already know like when we first met these characters and when we found out that Carol was working with the fake princess and everything aka our bad guy and such that every little moment that Carol had with Pecorine, Kokoro, and Yuki was still true but at the same time fake because she had to play a role and so, you know, any moment that there was, you're like, oh, this is so fucking cute and stuff. But in the back of your mind, you're sitting here like, God damn it, you know, Carol's being the fake as fuck. But now, like, seeing her hurt people who she's protected so many times in, like, previous episodes fucking hurt. And how, like, she she did have remorse. She really did. You could see that she did. Um, but at the moment, that first point, like, of course not. But you could tell, like, right when, like, Pecorine, like, embraced her and such. And you saw a tear, even though that was coming from Pecorine. And when it went down, like, Carol's face, it was almost like a tear of Carol's, where she's like, really, she feels remorseful for doing this and such. But finally, you know, once she was, like, putting her, um, her staff down, she was like, I, I can't do this anymore. Like, this, this is wrong. I shouldn't do this. Like, I'm really hurting people who I care about oh so much. And even in the end, like, Carol's just a puppet. 
everyone who kind of works with the fake princess is a puppet, uh, basically a pawn. This is, it was a fucking chess match ever since this damn episode, god damn it. But, oh god, just finally, freaking finally, Pecorine can say that she is the princess and such, and everyone can cheer and everything, because, like, I was expecting it to, like, I, I, first, really, I thought what they were going to do was wait a little bit longer to, like, the fin- Okay, continuing where I was last left off because I was rudely interrupted by my own computer being stupid and literally freezing on me. Um, literally, I don't even know what the heck I was trying to say in my previous video, but, um, since we are now getting into the end game proportion of this, it makes me wonder, um, going back, like, I think it was maybe episode six or episode seven, we're seeing Yuki die, um, if that's possibly going to happen, but... It, it, it just makes you wonder with all these different timelines and we're getting to see those like from Yuki's memories and everything like um with what's her face dying last week did that also happen in one timeline there's a lot of unanswered questions with this but I, I really don't know how this is gonna end I mean this is only episode 10 and I think we only have like what two or three more weeks with the show before it's done so it makes me wonder like how they're going to close off this, like, what I like to call chapter one of the series going into the next arc and who the next villain is going to be. Because as someone who, when I, okay, so around the time when I was playing this on JP, um, I didn't really read most of the story because, of course, you know, translation and stuff like that. And, of course, you got to wait, like, several months, which is very similar to when, um... Magical Recorda came out and the big reason why that got canceled and that's why I was very cautious of playing the, the English version with the Crunchyroll thing because Crunchyroll did the same thing with the Sinfo Gear series and you know there was like yeah let's have this come out and make this popular as fuck too and have the game come out as well and then like three to five months later the game gets discontinued here in America or really worldwide except in Japan. So if you want to see all these extra stories, you kind of have to play the Japanese version. So that's why I was very, I think, for the first whole year of the English release of Princess Connect, I was really skeptical because I was like over here thinking like, this ain't gonna last. And I'm really surprised that, you know, it has lasted a whole year for its first anniversary and everything. And now we're getting cards that I had on JP slowly but surely coming in EN. Um... But still, it makes you wonder how this is going to end for everybody. Let this end on a good note. How in the world is Peckerine going to get the freaking, you know, little strings that what's face is using on Carol? Um, are Kokoro and Yuki are going to make it there in time to also help Peckerine? Is everybody else going to make it there in time? Um, also, yeah, like, you know, because technically, here's another question while I was watching. Where, where the fuck is Chris? Yeah, where's Chris? Where's Chris and what's her face? Um, oh my god, I have this character. <laughs> it's my picture. Well, she's not my profile picture, but I have this character in the game. It's a girl with a long purple hair, and like she literally always says, like, oh, Nanchan, not, not, um, not, uh, not what's her face, not the girl with the pink hair, it's just purple hair, and she carries a sword. Um, and she also works with Chris. We saw her last week. So, where the heck are they? Are they currently stuck in the castle with all those freaking shadow things? There, there's so many unanswered questions with this. So, it just makes you wonder how this is truly going to end for these characters. How, you know, especially when this is all over and we move on to the next thing. And Carol and Peckerine have that talk and such and how is it gonna be is it gonna be awkward as fuck like there, there's so many things that could happen between these next few weeks I, I just feel like you know they're gonna hug carol's gonna cry pecorine's gonna cry kokoro's gonna cry yuki's gonna cry i'm gonna cry everybody's gonna cry over what has possibly happened but all we have to do is wait and see. But, I mean, it was a very good episode. That ending got me, even though I was like this, in my mind, I was just like, holy shit, we're getting real with this now. We're, we're finally, like, in the moment of where everyone's like, yes, this is the true princess right here. Fuck that bitch right there. What's gonna happen to her? And 
I'm just really excited to see how this is going to conclude in the next few weeks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 2 of Princess Connect Redive. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys possibly Monday, maybe more of Tuesday for episode 11. Once again, I am sorry that this happened. Uh, you're probably still wondering why the fuck this happened, why I have a four-minute video on this connecting with it but yeah like i said i was talking next thing you know my um my audio froze on me the video froze thank god i was able to save the video but i had to restart my computer and literally continue where i left off but until then i will see you guys all next time bye